Well, this is no surprise. Pet people are happier people. How much happier? Well, according to Psychology Today, a lot happier. Studies show pet parents have greater self-esteem, are less lonely, even more physically fit. Love you, hero. That's my buddy. And that is until your beloved pet gets sick and you have to deal with the emotional and financial stress of life-saving veterinary care. And Dr. Craig Galbraith, Chief Veterinary Advisor with Pet Health and 24 Pet Watch is here to help along with our pet guest, Champagne. Welcome. Thank you for having uh, us. She's being such a good girl. She's being awesome today. You're a beauty. Yes. So tell me, Dr. Craig, I mean, how do you really deal with, you know, thinking about the well-being of your pet and, and also your pocketbook? Yeah. The biggest way is uh, thinking about purchasing pet insurance. Absolutely. And what are some of the misconceptions people really have about pet insurance? Well, there's a few. Uh, the biggest is that people think that pre-existing conditions are covered. Mm. And what that means is pre-existing condition is something that your pet's been symptomatic for, diagnosed with, or treated for before you got the pet insurance. Okay. So it's always best to insure as soon as possible to avoid uh, having pre-existing conditions that aren't covered. Uh, the other one is that people don't think that they need pet insurance. Right, so many. You don't yeah. know you need it until you really need it. <laughs> right. So people think that you know that they just take what they would pay in pet insurance premiums and set that aside every month, that they can just rely on that to cover their pet, their veterinary bills. Right. Uh, the problem with that is you don't know when these things are going to come up. So if you've only been saving for four or five months, you may not have enough to cover that illness or accident Major that issue. just occurred. Yeah. And if you need ongoing treatment for that, then you've already used up your savings and you may actually have to dip into things and you know some of your other household bills may start to suffer as well. Uh, and the last thing is, uh, you know, like Champagne here, she's a bit older, she's six. Six, uh, And uh, people feel that if their pets are on the, on the older side that they can't get pet insurance and that it's only for uh, puppies and kittens. And that's just not the case. Good to know. You can insure a pet at any age, uh, the earlier the better, as always. Uh, and even if they do have pre-existing uh, conditions, if they are older, there's always room for pet insurance because you never know, accidents can always happen. You, you certainly have people come to you as a veterinarian with a tragic situation, a very, very sick dog, and then you have to talk to them about medical cost, and, and that can be a really challenging situation, I'm sure. Absolutely. Uh, you know, as a veterinarian, when you're dealing with uninsured pets, the conversation can be mostly about the finances, yeah. which can be very difficult. I mean, when pets are sick, it's an emotional experience, a very stressful experience. But when you have pet insurance, the whole experience is transformed. It's not what can I afford, it's what's best for my pet. And right. it, it just changes everything for everybody. Of course, you're not put in that position of making a financial decision about your pet. You can actually say, what, what's the best for Yeah, what are my options? What are my options? Yeah. So how do we determine which pet insurance policy is right for, for me or for our viewers? Yeah, and that's probably the biggest challenge with pet insurance. Uh, so the one thing I can tell people is make sure you're comfortable asking lots of questions. Asking, what does the coverage actually look like? And for that coverage, can I make changes to my copayment and my deductible so that I can get my premium down to where it can fit into my budget? Right. Uh, you know, there's accident insurance, uh, accident only, accident and illness coverage. Okay. Uh, so make sure you know what the policy looks like. Is there uh, other optional types of coverages available, like wellness, things like vaccines, microchips? Right. That was going to say, what else can we do to protect our pet? I mean, I haven't done the microchip. That's terrible. Yeah, I should go the, do it. Yeah, for, for, for those who have pets already or thinking about adopting a, a, a new pet, uh, absolutely get the microchip. That's one of the best ways that we can keep those pets with us in our families uh, healthier longer. So where should folks go to find their new family member like Champagne? Well, the first place they should go is Petango.com. Uh, pet Health has uh, one of North America's largest online pet adoption websites. Wonderful. I love the name. Petango. <laughs> I can remember, remember that. Yeah. You go there, yeah. and what happens when you go there? Well, you can just basically pick based on your, your area. So, you know, you can set, you know, a radius for your search, what kind of pet you're looking for. Or you can, uh, you can even set it to ask you lifestyle questions about yourself to help you choose what pet's best and for you. And then they show you what's available in your area? Absolutely. It gives you the contact information for that shelter. So you just reach out to them, and then you make that connection. Oh so my gosh. last year, uh, we adopted out over a million uh, animals through our uh, shelter partners. Wow. Yeah. I, I don't know if I want to give my daughter this website yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can be addictive. Yeah, I know. Well, we hope that we've inspired you to go out and adopt one of these beauties like Champagne. Millions of people have. All you have to do, 
as we just said, is go to PetTango.com and you can find adorable, adoptable pets in your area. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, thanks for having she us. She is just, you've only met her like two days, right? Yeah, and she's uh, locally here from the uh, Florida Humane Society. So Champagne is adoptable. She is adoptable. Oh Absolutely. my gosh. All right, and to get more peace of mind and protection for your pet, head over to 24PetWatch.com or go to TheBalancingAct.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well. Thank you so much. She was just fantastic. Thank you.